Don't forget to click the bell so you can subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Here's some of the supplies. You will need a flat brush, big or small, a round brush, about medium size, and then a small brush, round brush, okay? And either a piece of paper or a canvas to do your owl on. And you need paint. These are all the paint, black, a light blue, a white, yellow, and red, okay? First, we're gonna get started with uh, putting on a coat of the background. Of course, you'll need some water and also uh, a rag to wipe off your uh, brush. We're gonna take the yellow and we're gonna do strokes up and down, back and forth. We don't want to put too much paint on our brush, but we're going to go up and down to get smooth textures of paint going on. And as we go and cover from top to bottom, this will be our background. So if you choose to do a different color, that's fine too. Maybe you don't like yellow and you'd rather have a different color. The only colors I wouldn't use would be the blue that actually shows the L. Okay, so as we get the yellow and we keep the strokes going up and down, up and down, and the reason for that is so that we have a really nice smooth background with it. Okay, and as we keep doing it, We'll do that to get the final piece. Now, we don't want to get a lot on here because we want this to dry. And we want this to dry pretty fast. So we're not working on the next step. So we can work on, so we can work on the next step. Okay. Now that we have all that done, and we've got it, and it's pretty fairly, uh, not very um, wet. The next step we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna start drawing um, the owl's face, okay? Which is very easy. So you can find round objects around to place to make um, the head, if you'd like and uh, for the eyes. Uh, I do a lot of freehanding, and what I do is I take an object that's round, and then I trace that around. Okay. I like to use um, a blue chalk deal, and then I take the body, and then I'm gonna bring the body down, like that. And then to get the eyes that we want, I've put a square X in the middle, like that. And like I said, it's not gonna hurt it. Okay. Then what I do is I go like a half an inch over and then I start drawing the circles of the eyes. So I wanna make sure, and sometimes you can use a finger and put it over and then put that in. So you put that over like that. Okay, and then we're gonna come down um, about two fingers and put a mark right there, and then we're gonna make a triangle, okay? You can have a long skinny triangle however way you want to, okay? And that's how we get our owl, owl done. Now, if you wanna use a pencil, that's fine. It's just sometimes using acrylic, it'll take a little bit um, harder. The black, because we're gonna put in the highlights of the bird okay so the highlights of the bird we're going to do some feathers and i'm going to show you how to do those feathers and basically what we're aiming for is we're trying to aim for and i'm going to try to do this with the camera see 
as we hold our um, brush with our hand, we're going to do strokes like this. And you bring it down and then lift, down and lift, down and lift. And you can do sh short ones that are like that. So that's what we're aiming for is that you take and get quite a bit of paint on it and you kind of roll it in. And then as we go in and put in the strokes, we're um, pushing down first and then going out, pushing down and going out. And they're all gonna be different ways, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the middle between the eyes and we're gonna kind of just stroke those down, okay? And it's okay that you don't cover all the yellow because it's gonna come through. And that's gonna give us the texture that we need Okay, and then we're going to go through and go up. And you see how that I push down and then go up and push down and go up. So I'm trying not to go too fast, but at the same time, you can see the strokes that I'm doing. Now we're going to come down a little bit and we're going to space them out just a little bit. But this area right here, we're going to cover mostly black. And then what we're going to do is on this outer line, we're going to do black. And then we're gonna do black on the sides here, okay? So as we come up around here, we're gonna go up just a little bit more, up through here, just do our strokes. And I'm such a lefty, so I'm trying not to get my hand into the, the camera. Then we're gonna go on the outer edge, and you can see that the strokes are a little bit different. We don't need these very long. We just need them a little bit so we can get the owl to stand out, okay? So as we kind of go through, then we're gonna do this section that's right in through here. And sometimes I like to draw the line in first so that I, I get it all in, and then I start doing the strokes. And as I do the strokes, I come down. And as you can see, we're making the black through here, around the head, and then we're gonna do the sides. And it's better to start with the dark first, okay? And use your imagination. You don't have to be exact. Your owl might look a little different. You might have more black than mine does, and that's okay. And then we only do a little bit under the eyes, okay? We don't just scatter it out. So you can start to see how it's starting to form and how it's being put together, okay? So then I come back up through here, and that gives you an idea of how we're going to put the strokes in and how we're going to get. Okay. And, you know, if you're like me, sometimes it's better to turn your <laughs> canvas around if you're such a lefty like I am. <clears throat> so you just basically turn it around and get that in. Okay. And, uh, you know, don't worry about mistakes. Mistakes are always <clears throat> let it dry and then come back to it. Now, the light is coming from this area, so we're going to make this side, and we're going to make longer strokes. And you can see that I just used the tip. I'm only using the tip of like that. Okay? So, barely tipping. Earlier, we were pushing down and then doing it, pushing down and then bringing it out. So that's great. So this one, we're just doing a little bit. And then we're going to just do a little bit in through the whole body of black. And this is just so that it gives us that two dimensional look, makes it look more real. Okay. And then we're going to take, um, after that, we're going to go ahead and cover in the black of the eyes to trace it out. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to get the other side. Okay. And then what I do is, after I feel like I got most of the black, because that's what we're going to start off with, is uh, 
they're gonna we're gonna do one more layer of black and we're gonna leave about about two fingers around the head and we're gonna start right here and we're going to give it some more hair okay and these strokes are going to be short strokes and they're going to kind of go around and if you feel like you're going to miss that just kind of take your blue chalk and then just go around the head like that make it a little halo it's kind of what we're aiming for and so if you're scared that you might mess up then you know i'm all about turning your canvas around to make it easier because i'm such a lefty and i've had to work that way now if you're right-handed and you don't have problems with that then i say go for it so as we keep going and you know the thing about doing this painting is you get very relaxed and the good thing about this painting is that you can stop anytime you want and come back to it because you're using that one stroke that's going back and forth okay and this one we're just doing a little bit of you know at the edge and you don't want them to all be the same you want them to go different angles because you know every feather is not the same and so as we're going through that and we're coming back through around you know, he looks kind of funny. So now after we're done with that, we're gonna wash, we're gonna um, clean off our brush and then we're gonna use a different color. The next color that we're gonna use is going to be white. And so the next one is going to be white and we're gonna do the same technique with the white. We're going to go through here and if you feel like your paint is not quite there dried then you know wait and come back around it so now we're going to put the white in between and sometimes you might have to clean off your brush if you get some black going on but we're going to go in with the white and the white is mainly going to go through here around the eyes around this edge and a lot through the whole body okay so as we keep going and we're mastering all of us we're going to keep white in there and white up in between every once in a while and that will give it that wonderful technique and if some of it turns gray it's okay it's not going to be hard for that now some reason I keep getting my black so okay so we're going to start down here and we're going to get some of the black and through here. And we don't want to cover everything like we said before, but I'm going to make the white a little bit. I'm going to push down and then stroke, push down and stroke down here because these feathers are closer to you. So they're a little wider. The ones feather are a little shorter. And so as we work through these and moving them around at different angles, I'm going to turn mine around and you can see how I'm still stroking. I'm using the same stroke. Okay. And you know, the white feathers, you want to bring that from this end and come out, okay? And then it's going to meet up where it kind of hides that black around there, okay? So as you see, we're moving it around. And that's just easier for me, um, moving the picture around. <clears throat> so I don't have to use my arms and do them all kinds of weird things. I just kind of, 
and it kind of helps my brain to know what stroke, which way I'm going. Because if I'm going this way, I have to think about it a little bit more. So my brain sometimes uh, will challenge me. And so I kind of go in through the black just a little bit through here. Okay. Not much because we don't want too much in there. But it kind of blends in the two that are together. And so I kind of go off to the edge of the black just a little bit. And these are all the different strokes that we have. <clears throat> okay. Now we're pretty much done with that part. And so we're going to let that dry a little bit. And we're going to clean off our brush and use the same brush. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a scoop of red and white to go, or yellow, sorry. And what we're trying to do is get like an orange looking color, okay? And what I do is I take a little bit of tap of black and then that makes that a little darker. Less is better until we can actually get that really nice, rich looking, just a little bit more of an orange, <clears throat> okay? I like a little bit of a darker orange. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna color the whole eye Okay, with that, and make that. And if you choose to do the eye a different color, that's fine too. Um, but it makes it more of a dark color. And you got the yellow that's underneath it. And then we're gonna kind of go through a little bit in for here. And we're gonna kind of go up just a hair, not much, into the the black part okay now we got that in there and you know we may have to depends on what you're using on the back we may have to do a couple coats that kind of thing so as you can see you can see the picture well, what we're aiming for just wanted to give you a little bit update on the picture okay and you know, you can feel free to use the smaller brush if you'd like. Um, I've just gotten to be over time. Some people have a hard time because it's too big. So we're gonna clean that out. And then, clean our brush out. Now the next color we're gonna use is a lighter blue. And if you don't have this light blue, you can take any blue and then add some white to it to get a blue, okay? And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the blue strokes in between. So we're gonna look for yellow colors. And this is where we're gonna do the blue. Now the main color of this one uh, is to make a blue owl, okay? Uh, I like to use a lot of colors in my paints, in my paintings. <clears throat> and that's because I like a lot of color in my life. And so, <laughs> what we're going to do, excuse me. So okay. now we're going to do the bottom part as you watch. And we're going to fill in. You can see how we're filling in the yellow, but the yellow is also blending in with us too. Okay. And sometimes when we get to this part, we may not know. Um, that's why I like the blue with it because it's just like a, it, it shows up better on a wall. And as you're trying to do it, you can just see the beautiful colors coming through. The blue kind of goes into the yellow part of it. So as you see, we're getting into that. Okay, now we're gonna go underneath the eye And sometimes you kind of have to go real short strokes. I'll show you the strokes. short strokes are going to be like this. And sometimes you have to do it like that. I use my pinky. Sometimes I hold my pinky up like this and I can get those little short strokes in there. Okay. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can always hold your, your hand 
to support it. And that also helps too. So as we're trying to get these, you want to make sure that you go right off of the round of the eye. Okay, you don't want to touch it. And if you touch it, like I did, I just touch my finger with it as it's wet. And if it dried off, that's okay. Because what we can end up doing, I'm going to turn this again. And I'm going to bring out my strokes of the blue. I'm almost doing two, one, two to three layers in here. As you can see, is sometimes when I come down here, I make the stroke come out a little bit. That one I don't want because that went way out. Okay. And the fun part about these strokes, you can do all kinds of uh, animals with this stroke. Uh, bring it in out. And bring the strokes out like that. And here you go. So now you can start seeing that our owl is starting to come together on there. Now, if you're having a hard time with these strokes and getting <clears throat> getting these, uh, if it's coming out with not um, too dry, then you don't have enough paint. So you're going to need to roll that paint some more. I wouldn't add any water to it unless your brush needs the water on it. Okay. And we're going to go through there. And as you can see, that we just keep going with that. And, uh, you know, when, like I say, this, after you do this a few times, you're going to get it. Here's a joke for you to take a break. How about this? An owl caught the coronavirus, but he wasn't bothered. He just didn't give a hoop. Ha 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 ha. Hope you enjoyed that joke. So now we're just kind of feeling in spots, maybe where the yellow is. And sometimes you can do just a little bit of a lightness to get it in there. Um, now we're going to get all the way around and you want to kind of just stay on the very edge. You can go off the black a little bit, you know, but you want to make sure that all the feathers are not going the same direction. That's the biggest thing about doing these. Okay. <clears throat> so as we're doing this, this is what we're going to do to get more feathers in there. Okay, and they're going in different directions. So you want to go that direction, this direction, and this, and that, and this, and that. You can see how if you do that, you know, go off the block just a little hair of it, and keep working. You know, we're gonna go back and forth because you'll start to see. As we're doing this, how that works. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more blue down on the bottom. And a lot of ways you gotta look at it and stand back a little bit to see it. And so I'm kind of seeing that I need a little bit more white and some black and you know a lot of it's using your eyes to see where you're missing it at that's the biggest thing uh sometimes what i've done um is wait the next day and then come back to it and work on it so you can see that doing all these strokes you can get very relaxed and uh you can really get on there and do a lot of different things with that now we're going to clean our brush and I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, black because right now from when I'm looking, the black um, is just off, just a hair. So you can see right here that these are not equal amount. So I'm gonna go in here and 
add a little bit more black. And if it turns gray, that's okay too. It just gives it more of that 3D look as we're working around with the black. And sometimes we can do a little bit more to kind of blend those in a little bit better. And I'm gonna bring this black down just a hair down through here. Okay, it's almost like you're giving him a little bit of a chest. Okay. And we kind of go down just a little bit down. And so I need just a little bit more on this side to balance it out. And what I'm looking for is to balance it out. So see how easy you can correct a. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna um, clean our brush, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna use uh, the end of the brush, and I usually like to use a bigger brush, which is the flat brush that I have, and the flat brush that I have. I basically use the end of it and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it in to the paint, whirl it around, look how that perfect dot that's going to be and then I place it on there and I kind of just move it around just a hair, not too much, okay, because you just kind of want to dot it on there and it kind of makes the perfect circle for you and then I do it again for the other side and kind of move it around just a minute and this is how i get my eyes okay that's how you can get the perfect eyes and i have to use a brush now we have the thin brush here and the final stage of that is to come back in here and do a fine line with the eye and get the eye in there a little bit more so the eye stands out. Okay. And that just kind of gives you that idea of how that really works on there. And we're gonna add just a little bit more white. We're gonna brush and we're gonna go back to our medium size brush. And then we're gonna put that right in through here. And what I'm like trying to look as for is I'm trying to look for any yellows that are coming that are too much yellow. So as I do the, the white in there, I can get some more white through there. Okay, so, and then as you can see, you can see the white, kind of putting in some more strokes. So you can see this can go layers and layers, and you don't want to cover up all your colors, but this gives you an idea and uh, how you can blend in your feathers by using the same stroke either longer, shorter strokes to get those in. And there we have our wonderful owl. Okay. And then the very last thing you want to do is we take a little bit of black and we're going to give him these little eyebrows like this. And then we're going to put it to the other side. There we go. And of course, take your thin brush and don't forget to sign, sign your name on the bottom. Okay? Or use a felt pen is fine too. I like to use felt pens because I'm trying to draw with a paintbrush. So here you go. There is your wonderful owl that you have made and a good time to spend time to relax and de-stress and have fun.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click down below, subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up!